It's called the X-2, and Sikorsky says it has flown faster than any other helicopter, reaching more than 250 knots in a test run nine months ago, or about 288 miles per hour, with pilot Kevin Bredenbeck at the controls. And I actually had something profound to say at that, that stage, you know, to the team and something historical, but I think some people have seen the tape. It's kind of hilarious. Wow, that was nice. I mean, what do you say? Sikorsky brought the chopper here to the Pentagon to show off its technology, including something that sets it apart from most helicopters you're used to seeing. We don't have a tail rotor. So on the back end of the aircraft, we have a high-performance pusher prop which allows us to go really, really fast, similar to a fixed-wing aircraft. Sikorsky's hoping the military can find some use for this, a mock-up of what it calls an S-97 Raider, morphing the X-2 technology into a light tactical helicopter, which it says not only flies fast, but can hover at more than 10,000 feet, a much higher altitude than the Pentagon's current fleet. Today's aircraft can cover about 43% of Afghanistan. This aircraft can cover about 98% of Afghanistan, which then allows the force to reach out and touch the enemy up and down the spectrum of altitudes. It's a long way from Igor Sikorsky's days as a helicopter innovator more than 70 years ago. As Kevin Bredenbeck reflects on his own fast flight, he's hoping somebody finds some use for the X-2, saying it could be a game changer for today's military. There's more to realize here with this technology and speed, and, and I can't wait till we, we do it. You know, I hope we don't wait 20 years waiting for a big contract to, to, to realize what we got here. Sagar Magani, The Associated Press, The Pentagon.